Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. American Crime Story, The Assassination of Gianni Versace. This is a season two finale, episode number nine, and it's called Alone. First things first, make sure you hit like, comment, subscribe. July 15th, 1997, we jump into this thing, and I am sorry it's a couple days late, y'all. I forgot. I just have not been watching TV. Like, I'm just not even gonna lie to y'all. I haven't watched as much TV as I used to. The opening song, very powerful. The words told it all. The lyrics to the song help narrate our emotion. The horrible act that Andrew created. Uh, we're on Gianni's steps at his gate at his fence in Miami Beach, and we know what happened. He killed that man. This is how you know Andrew was nuts, man. He's champagne popping. He's sitting at home popping bottles, and what really did it? As the champagne opened up, TV is telling the story of what happened. Announcing him as a killer, and he feels like this is my dang old moment. So his champagne busts open, and they say shots same time simultaneously. It's like whoa. Um, the impact, man, the impact. Um, this fool giggles. The news says Andrew Cunanan is at large. He's a wanted. He celebrates by taking a sheet for going to the rooftop, still holding his champagne in hand. He puts it around himself like he's some Greek god, like he's just some wonderful person, and he's celebrating another kill. He thinks he's made it. Helicopters looking for him. Police sirens going on in the background. It's crazy. Lee Miglin's wife, the QVC queen, she went off on the police. Well deserved, though. I mean, w even though her husband was a lying, cheated, closeted maniac, she still deserves justice. She still deserves for that case to be solved and closed and for them to, you know, do, do justice to all the other families. She said three quotes, y'all. When will this all end? How many more? How much more pain? right right do you fault that woman for snapping out no not at all she has every right to be pissed off and her emotions were how we feel at this point we don't watch we didn't dedicate eight episodes eight and a half episodes at that point to this show and we feel her how many more people have to have gone through what they went through how many lives are changed all because of this fool's emotions and his inability to cope how many of y'all ready for season three of American Crime Story? Drop a comment below if you're going to be rocking with me. Drop those comments below if you held down Cuba Gooding Jr. season one and if you're holding down Edgar Ramirez in season two. So Andrew Cunanan is walking around dressed just like Weekend at Bernie's with the high-waisted pants all tucked in, looking crazy in that banana yellow cabana suit with the Versace shades. Nobody saw this dude and he didn't look crazy to you, anyone. He didn't look like make a stop, make contact, talk to him, call the police as a tip, nothing, huh? Okay. Where's our agents The The Florida people that we met the very first couple episodes. They're MIA for the first like 20 minutes of this episode. So there's a roadblock and they're stopping every vehicle at a particular point in town, at multiple points in town actually, to look for him. Make sure he's not in a trunk in a vehicle, find a weapon or anything like that. This fool u turned so no one, you telling me there was no other police units that were not in the intersection to catch the person who would u turn? Like, hey, there's a white Mercedes with a white male driver. No one? All right, another crazed scream we hear. We saw, what, the pilot? Was it the pilot episode where he was on the beach and he just goes, ah! He does it again after he tosses the keys to the car. Um, he's fueled by madness, Coca-Cola, and orange pop. We saw his house when he, he loves to watch the news to see himself. It's almost like a reward of finally I've reached fame. Finally, everyone knows my name. And they're butchering his name, Kuninin, Kuninan, and everything. And he, of course, they lead their way back to mom. They get Marianne, and she's on the news. And that's kind of like his what in the world is going on point. So Ronnie the half goatee partial mustache crackhead said it best. Y'all weren't looking for him. Andrew Cunanan is not hiding. He is looking and trying to be seen. One of the best quotes this episode. Now look, where Andrew was on that boat, that houseboat, and he was hungry, he was grabbing that bread and shoving it in his mouth. Grandma, are you in here? Ahoy! I'm like, ahoy! He about to blast you, lady! Get you out of here! Get, get, get off his boat! I'm yelling at the TV. I'm yelling at the TV, and she's still, ahoy! Dang it! You know what? Quit being nosy, Rosie the neighbor. Quit being Rosie the nosy neighbor. Don't do it. Mind your business sometime, people. Call from a distance. If it's an open door, don't enter. Beep, beep, beep. 
Hello? Yes, this address, 123 Sesame Street? Yeah, the, the door is open. Bob's not home. Can you guys come see? Ain't nothing wrong with calling. Ain't nothing wrong with telling. I'm going to tell all the time, every time, on time, 100% of the time. I'm telling. Lizzie popped up in the... Lizzie popped up on the finale. I was a little bit shocked. Where have you been? Where have you been? And are they doing it at this point? Is Lizzie much like the father going with the media frenzy? Um, let me tell my side of the story so people can... Maybe I could cut it, you know, get a book deal, get something. I don't know. I'm this episode is titled Alone, and that's exactly what Andrew is. He's alone. He's on the run. He's barricaded in. At one point, we see him taking a cup and capturing a roach. And it, and when you think about it, homeboy, he was a roach. He was a roach, and at the point of the episode where it was over, you were barricaded in. You know there was no way out. You were either going um, to be carried out or you were going to be um, placed in cuffs and under arrest. He was a roach because at one point the roach was dead in the glass, symbolizing his struggle, his life, his situation at that current moment. We saw earlier he had all the pop. He had all the pop in the world, the soda pops in the world. And last 15, 20 minutes of this finale, what happened? He ain't got no more pop. He ain't got no food. He's fumbling through his trash, showing this is it. You know, he's back up, his back is against the wall. There's no more champagne. There's no more celebration. There's no more shrimp, surf, and turf, pizza even. The, dude was had, dude's choice was eat Comet cleaner. It was eat Comet the cleaner for your bathtub, drink some, some dang on cleaning fluid liquids or chemicals or dog food. And he chose dog food and threw up. It was disgusting. It was just like, he is finito. Home Shopping Network, you know dang on well Miss Miglum, the QVC queen, she knew he was watching. She knew he was watching. Shouts out to the legend for coming through in this episode and showing those chops once again. She knew he was watching and she said that to him. Modesto. Modesto's back. Horrible father. Horrible man. Anything for fame. Fame ho. Fame whore. He wants to be just as much just as much as Andrew struggle is he wants to be seen wants to be loved so does that man that man wants to be seen he lied we don't know I don't know as far as this TV show is concerned he lied because that dude didn't say anything about a script about a movie the rights and I'm like you all the way in the Philippines ran from America because you were doing dirt doing craziness that's on you Modesto that's on your heart if you're still out there um, the red light the red light showing his anger the red light showing his anger, showing his mood, showing his frustration with his father who said he was going to be there. I'm going to be there, son. I'm going to hold you. I'll be there in the morning. Where are you at? What's your location? So did dad tell the FBI where he was? Did Was the phone taps? They kind of sort of didn't say. They just left it up in the air for you to translate that on your own. But still bogus to put that in his ear to feel like, hey, that was his last hope, his last um motivation to to feel like he could still survive he still had a, a chance and dad took that from him once again dad was straight up pimping him pimped him july 22nd 1997 this is the funeral which was crazy because it was not just because of the press it was televised we saw naomi campbell throughout this entire finale when it came to gianni uh, shout out to Ricky Martin, shout out to Penelope Cruz because they did an outstanding job even though we did not see them as much as we wanted them to be in this entire series. Um, and why not 10 episodes? Why stop at 9? I felt like that was kind of weird. She basically said, hey look, man, uh, hey man, between me and you, I, yeah, it's a marker, you know I don't smoke. Between me and you, it's not, I, Gianni was spending all kind of money all around the world, all around town. You can't move. You can't move those coins. You can't push that dough. Uh, the board runs everything. Okay. Santo was still silent. They didn't get that man any words. His story is Santo still alive? Why can't he say something ever? I don't get it. And that's Gianni and Donatella's brother, Santos. Now the preacher. Can we talk about the preacher and his shadiness? How he disrespected that man. Dissed him in his sermon, yes. When he went around and he was shaking everybody's hand and kissing hands or whatever he was doing, dissed Antonio. I'm like, wow. Shady at the funeral. Lots of attitude for whatever reason. Kneeling. We've seen, we've seen Kunanan kneel 
where he's looking in his closet, looking at photographs on the ground, looking at magazines on the ground. It's always like his plan, his wish, what's going to happen. We saw him kneeling this time to shave his head, and I felt like that was full circle. He his head, he had a beard. We know him, we've known him, we've grown to know him as a very well-kept man. Um, not to say if you have a beard or you're unshaven that you're not a well-kept man. Because lots of brothers out here looking real nice. Lots of men, are, they look great even if they haven't shaved. What I'm saying is this guy, he's been very, he's been very baby-faced about himself, his character. Um, and to see him grow the facial hair, it made him look aged, it made him look worn out. They got him surrounded. He's having these hallucinations or whatnot, and he's seeing his younger self, almost like how old boy Madsen's, uh, Madsen saw his life right before he got shot up in that field. What a story, man. What a story. Drop your thoughts on this finale. I think OJ's was on point. It was a very good, um, they captured everything, and the actors, you, you, you thought Courtney B. Vance was... Johnny Cochran, you thought OJ was Omar, you know, and Marsha Clark, you thought that was homegirl Sterling K. He Williams, he did an outstanding job as, you know, the lawyer. This Edgar Ramirez as Gianni, I wish we would have had more time to see him. Now, every time they, they did the shots in Italy and the homes and the lavish lifestyle, we saw the Versace wine glasses in silver and gold, marble everywhere it was it, it was what we expected it to be when we think of high class or rich folks right they did an outstanding job i wish we would have seen more of it i don't know if it was very expensive to shoot those scenes uh i will say this when they showed donatella you just saw her puffing and switching puffing and switching when i'm set like she walked um we watched the story we watched the house of versace and it wasn't all cigarettes that girl had a, a she had a she had a white problem, you know what I mean? She had that white powder issue, uh, abusing drugs. And the only drug use they pointed the finger at was on old Antonio, who tried to OD on uh, pills, which was crazy, which was very crazy. And the, and the maid found him, the housekeeper found him on the floor. She was like, oh, no, y'all ain't going to mess up the clinics. Not today. I know CPR, 32, 32 chest compressions, call 911. Not today. Did he really meet Versace? Did he really know Gianni? Did they really go out to dinner and or was this all falsified in his head? A dream. It's all about dreaming being special. Dream on. You all are special. Love yourselves. Don't hurt anyone. Until the next time, peace.